Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next um, question asks us to find the distance between, so the distance formula for certain, the origin, and the ordered pair whose coordinates are t, comma, v. Okay, origin. The origin, of course, is where the x-axis and the y-axis meet. And as an ordered pair, that would be written as 0, 0. And t, v... There's no specific location because we don't know what those variables represent. So we just call it 0, 0, and TV. Whenever you're using the distance formula, label the first point x sub 1, y sub 1. Label the second point x sub 2, y sub 2. Recall the distance formula. d equals the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared. Put a plus in the middle. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. And then now we simply plug in. x sub 2 is t. Minus comes from the formula. x sub 1 is 0. Close it and square it. Put a plus y sub 2 is v, minus comes from the formula, y sub 1 is 0, close it and square it. This is all under a radical. We have the square root of t minus 0 is t, t squared is just that. There's a plus in the middle. v minus 0 is v, v squared is v squared. That, strange as it looks, is my final answer. Now, one comment I want to make here. Sometimes students try to go farther than this. They're like, oh, yeah, here's just squared and squared. I'm going to break it up. You can only break up a radical if the quantity under the radical is a product or a quotient. Remember the product rule and the quotient rule. There's nothing that allows you to go in like this and break up parts of a plus or minus. Okay, you cannot... In this particular situation, there's not one more thing you can do. So you've got to remember you can only really break things up using the product rule for radicals or the quotient rule for radicals. All right? And we're done. That is our answer. The distance is the square root of t squared plus b squared.